Another bullish day for AMC with the price movement going up. We have a little bit more to share with you in regards to what's going on today with this. But before I do, I want to go ahead and say a special shout out. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. I really do appreciate it, everybody. And if you'd like to be a Patreon supporter for as little as $1 a month, there is a link in the description. Also, please keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinions, my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into this, all right? We're gonna go ahead and zoom out here and looking at this on the daily, we do have this very large bull pennant. I've already talked about this in my other videos. What's nice is that it is actually up above the level of resistance. In fact, it has closed above the level of resistance. Now in the aftermarket, it is down just slightly, only down 0.26%, but there was a little bit of some shenanigans that happened right before the actual close. Let's go ahead and show you guys here. We're swapping over to the five minute chart. And as I zoom in here, you're gonna notice something that there's a progressive run up, getting really close and it hit right here at $41.97. Basically at that $42 level before it started getting rejected and then the price got shot down a lot and then people tried to rally it back up. Why is $42 so important? If we hop on over here to Yahoo Finance, we can see that for the closure at $41, there were 47,329 call options that closed out in the money. The more call options that close out in the money, the more the likelihood is that you have what's called a gamma squeeze. And a gamma squeeze is a little bit different than a traditional squeeze or a short squeeze, right? In the sense, it has to do with the options contracts. So, we had 47,000. If it would have closed at $42, that would have been an additional 83,508 call options. That would have been really helpful. But guess what? What did we see on the charts? Ran up, almost hit $42, and they're like, no, 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 no. They pulled a Matumbo, smacked it right out of here, caused it to go down, and guess what? A lot of call options ended up expiring out of the money. So taking a look at some of the other data that we have, we got 1.4 million shares available to borrow. We got 100,906 ETF shares that include AMC available to borrow. The fee rate has gone up to 0.8%. Call options out of the money, 148,805. Uh, this is not fully updated, but yeah, there were quite a few that did still end up expiring out of the money. And guess what? We've been seeing that happen every week. And we keep talking about it. Other YouTubers keep talking about it. But people keep buying call options that expire out of the money. That money, by the way, when it expires out, if it's short-term based call options, that money goes to the market makers. That goes to people like, for example, Citadel. Allows them to be able to continue to play and screw over the market. Dark pool. Taking a look at the data over here, we can see negative 49.2 million shares negative 1.86 billion dollars absolutely stupid i want to go ahead and pop back over here to the charts for a second let's take a look at amc now i want to go ahead and point out that because it did close out above the level of resistance for the opening next week this is pretty bullish this creates an opportunity where we could really start to see a rally up one thing to be concerned about is again market manipulation and this could have been a fake out, right? Where people think that it's gonna go up, instead it drops right back down and then it continues to work its way sideways here. Because just because it went above, or if it went down below, right? It could drop down here and then come right back up. You gotta wait for a couple instances of trend pattern formations to really signify that there's a continuation taking place. So yes, it's bullish right now. You can see in the aftermarket, it is kind of pulling down. Volume was still pretty low, 39.8. <clears throat> million shares just overall we're seeing very very low activity and volume for quite a long time now all right something else is in regards to popcorn now i didn't really talk too much about this but let's go ahead and go over the key highlights for amc to sell its own branded popcorn at mall kiosks supermarkets in the year 2022 so that's next year right i know time is flying we're already almost in 2022 AMC is entering the packaged food market and will begin selling its popcorn at mall kiosks, supermarkets, and convenience stores in the U.S. next year. The movie theater company plans to launch up to five AMC theaters, perfectly popcorn stores, counters, and kiosks in shopping malls during the first half of 2022. 
with plans to have 15 retail stores open before 2023. AMC CEO Adam Aaron called the movie uh, called the move natural and logical for the company, which has been seeking to diversify its revenue in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. This is awesome for a variety of reasons. Now, before we go into the detail, well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go into the details. Somebody shared this over on the AMC subreddit. This is by C uh, so Sonser for Hire, I think is how you say that, titled Popcorn Simple Math, Stop Being Stupid. Popcorn sales are going to make hundreds of millions a year, and anyone who is hating on this is a clown. Just selling to half the U.S. grocery store is 21000 50 boxes a month at a minimum $3 a box. That's $3.15 million a month and $37.8 million a year. 15 per, or minus 15% for cost to sell leaves $32.13 million. Now, remember the AMC? <clears throat> Excuse me. That's only half the stores in a very low ball unit sale total. Now, remember, the AMC is a brand name and has a community of over 4 million deep globally, probably much more. Branding is huge in sales. Who's not going to pull AMC off the shelf? Most likely, AMC will pull in 600 to $800 million a year gross on popcorn sales. It's so simple. Low overhead and easily branded with special advertising concepts from movies and AMC promos. So if you're crying about the new cop, uh, popcorn venture thinking it's silly and a waste of time, I tell you to look at Coca-Cola Company's business methods and who invests in them. This will draw in Warren Buffett-style investors, right? Not saying that it will pull in Warren, uh, Warren Buffett, but Warren Buffett-style investors. A lot of people really like this idea, myself included. Let us know in the comments what you think of this. It says... I have just sent a message to Sir CEO Adam with an idea on how to improve the popcorn selling business even more, including free tickets in random popcorn boxes to differentiate and add more value to AMC popcorn boxes compared with what competition offers. Hope he likes it, right? So, you know, think of the golden ticket, Willy Wonka, that kind of a thing. So if you got a chance, you go through your popcorn, you find it, you're like, whoa, I got really lucky. Cool. It just makes it a fun little element where... You're not just getting popcorn, you're getting an opportunity at something bigger. I don't know why, I feel like I had seen something kind of like that when I was a kid with uh, popcorn, <clears throat> but I don't know if I quite remember that right. Anyways, let us know what you guys think about this idea in the comments down below. Are you bullish or bearish right now on AMC? Let us know. And I do have referral links in the description if you want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock. It is free money for you guys. I had to clear my throat there for a second. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, please keep in mind, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Guys, go do your own research as well on this stuff. And also click the bell icon so you know whenever we have a new video. And I will see you in the next episode.